On the south lawn of the White House, an official welcome is tendered by President Kennedy to West Germany's Chief of State. On his 11th visit to Washington, 86-year-old Chancellor Konrad Adenauer is accompanied by his daughter, Mrs. Libet Baran. They are greeted by Mr. and Mrs. Kennedy and Secretary of State Dean Rutt. Chancellor Adenauer's place in history spanning nearly half a century from his political start as mayor of Cologne in 1917 is cited by President Kennedy with emphasis on his leadership in post-war years. During uh, this period particularly, as Chancellor of your country, you have held to a view of a greater Europe, a greater free Europe, uh, opening up uh, unlimited opportunity, not only to the people of your own country, not only to the people of Europe, but also to all free people. And also a great vision of a uh, greater Europe linked uh, in a greater Atlantic partnership to Canada and the United States and Great Britain. So, uh, Chancellor, because of that uh, view, which is approaching, we believe, uh, fulfillment, your place in the uh, history of uh, your country and the free world is assured. After the ceremonies, the two leaders go indoors for talks on the Cuban crisis and Western defense. They agree that new negotiations on Berlin must await settlement of the Cuban deadlock, but they are in accord that the self-determination of West Berlin will be preserved. <laughs>